In this video, we will discuss how we can validate that a given pre-order traversal is valid for a binary search tree. So we are given an array of numbers and we have to check that whether this represents a valid pre-order traversal of a binary search tree. So as we know that the pre-order traversal is root, left and then right. So first visit the root, then we go to the left subtree and then we go to the right subtree. So let's take the first example. We are given this set of numbers 2, 4 and 3 and we have to check that this represents a pre-order traversal of a BST. So this pre-order traversal can give us this binary search tree. So if that is the case, we return true. Let's check the second example. So now our set of numbers is 2, 4 and 1. So for these three numbers, there can be these three BSTs. But if we check the pre-order traversal, so for the first tree, the pre-order traversal is 2, 1 and 4. So for the second tree, the pre-order traversal is and for the third tree, the pre-order traversal is and none of this is equal to 2, 4, 1, which was given to us. So for the set of numbers 2, 4, 1, this cannot represent a pre-order traversal of a binary search tree. So this is false. And for this set of numbers, this BST can be constructed, which has the pre-order traversal as. So this gives us true. And for the fourth example, we cannot construct a BST that has this pre-order traversal. So we would be given a set of numbers and we have to check that we can construct a BST such that the pre-order traversal of the BST is equal to the given set of numbers. Let's see how we can do this. Now we know that pre-order traversal is root, left and right. And for BST, the left subtree elements are less than the root and the right subtree elements are greater. And this holds true for each node of the tree. Let's take the first example, which was two, four and three. So for this input two, four and three, the BST is this. So if we observe that two is the root node, so the first element of the prior traversal is the root node and the element which is greater than the prior traversal will be the starting point for the right subtree. So if the prior traversal is this, the tree will be. So if you pick node two, so the first node that is greater than two will be the starting point for the right subtree. So here four is the first node in the right subtree of two. So all the nodes after this node should be greater than two because these are on the right side. So if this is a valid prior traversal of a BST, then all these nodes should be greater than node two. Let's take one more example. So for these nodes, the tree is. So here if we pick node 44, the first node that is greater than 44 is 66. So all the nodes that are on the right of 66 should be greater than 44 because all these would be present in the right subtree. Similarly for node 22, the first node that is greater than 22 is node 33. So this means 33 is on the right subtree of 22. So all the nodes on the right of 33 should be greater than 22. So if this property is true for each element of the input array, then we can say that the given array represents a valid pre-order traversal of a BST. Now if we take this input, so we pick 44. If we check the first element that is greater than 44, it is 66. So all the elements on the right of 66 should be greater than 44. But in this case, we have element 33, which is less than 44. So this set of number is not a valid pre-order traversal for a BST. Now, if we think about the algorithm, then the first algorithm that strikes to us is that for each node, we can find the first greatest element, so which is 66, and then we can check in the right of 66 if there is any less element then we can recursively do this for all the elements of this array but that is not a very efficient method 
let's have a look at the efficient method that uses a stack this is our approach we want to find the next greater element and after finding the next greater if we find a smaller element then we can return false that means the given set of elements does not represent a pre-order traversal of a BST. So in the first step of the algorithm, we create an empty stack. We initialize the variable root with int minimum, which is basically minus infinity. Then we traverse from the starting of this array till the end. We enter inside the for loop. We check the while condition if stack is not empty. So the stack is empty. So we come outside of this while loop and we check if pre-order i which is 44 is less than root which is minus infinity so this if condition is not true then we push pre-order i on the stack so we push 44 to the stack in the next iteration now i is pointing to 22 we check if stack is not empty and pre-order i which is 22 is greater than top of the stack which is 44 so this is false then we check if pre-order i is less than root so this if condition is not true and then we push 22 on the stack in the next iteration now pre-order i is 11 we check a stack is empty and pre-order i which is 11 is greater than top of the stack which is 22 this is false then we check if pre-order i is less than root so 11 is less than minus infinity this is not true then we push pre-order i on the stack so you push 11 for the next iteration pre-order i is 66 we check if stack is not empty and pre-order i which is 66 is greater than top of the stack which is 11 so this is true now we make root equal to top of the stack which is 11 so root becomes 11 and then we pop from the stack we again come in the while condition we check if pre-order i which is 66 is greater than top of the stack 22 so this is also true now root becomes 22 and then we pop from the stack so we pop 22 in the next iteration inside the while loop we check if 66 is greater than the top of the stack which is 44 so this is true now we make 44 as the root node and then we pop from the stack in the next iteration of the while loop the stack is empty so this while loop terminates then we check if pre-order i 66 is less than the root node 44 so this is not true and then we push pre-order i on the stack so we push 66 on the stack for the next iteration now pre-order i is pointing to 55 we check a stack is empty and pre-order i 55 is greater than top of the stack so this is false we check if 55 is less than 44 this is not true and then we push 55 on top of the stack for the next iteration now pre-order i is pointing to 33 we come in the while loop and we check if pre-order i is greater than top of the stack so we check if 33 is greater than 55 this is not true then we check if 33 is less than root which is 44 so this is true so we return false this means that this set of numbers is not a valid pre-order traversal for a BST so we can see that it failed at 33 it is because if we search a bigger node than 44 it is 66 the first node in the right subtree is 66 so all the nodes which are on the right of 66 should be greater than 44 but because 33 is less than 44 so this is not a valid prior traversal for a bst if we look at the time complexity the time complexity is order of n where n is the number of the nodes in the array. Now, once you've understood the algorithm, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now, let's have a look at the code. 
So I've taken this four set of numbers in the form of a vector and I will pass it one by one to this function validate BST from pre-order. This function will return true or false whether this set of numbers can be a pre-order reversal of a BST. In this function, I've taken a stack of type int. Then I initialize the variable root with int minimum. I traverse this array and then for each element, I check if the stack is not empty and the pre-order element is greater than the stack top. If it is greater, then I change the root to the top and I pop from the stack. After this while loop, I check if the current pre-order element is less than the root. If it is, that means it lies on the right subtree, but it is smaller than the root. So it is not a valid BST. So I return false. Otherwise, I push it on the stack. So I do this for all the elements of the array. After this loop ends and no node violates the condition, then I return true. That means it is a valid pre-order traversal. Now let's see the output of this program. So we can see that 243 is a valid traversal. So I return 1. 241 is not valid. Similarly, this array is a valid traversal and the last one is not a valid. So it returns 0. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.